Hey guys, so before I go on to the kickoff of Monday Night Raw, I just figured out that today is the anniversary, aka 16th anniversary, it's been 16 years ever since the tragedy of September 11th, it is the exact date of 9-11. So this may affect everybody here who has been affected by this tragedy and other stuff like that but basically I was just going through like the website and stuff like that but our nation suffered a devastating attack on our way of life it happened 16 years ago <sighs> tears have been shed and through many many of those who have been affected by it so the Twin Towers were attacked by the flight of the plane or something like that and many many of those were killed or injured and only a couple have survived. But this happened when I was like two years old at the time. I was around two. But you know me but um there may be a few people who a few people here in the city or other people who have been affected by it. So, I just want to keep the, those in prayer for the comfort that they need. And most importantly, stay safe. We love you all, even though I love you all, those who have been affected by it. But I want to give each and every one of you love and respect. And most, impor most importantly, a hug in person if I can see you right right now like I want to give each and every one of you a hug in person if I wanted to which I basically can but in the future I will okay to kick off raw we are here with Chase Jordan and Roman Reigns but I mean last week Chase Jordan faced John Cena and failed so this week he's about to face Roman Reigns and John Yes, I love both John Cena and Roman Reigns, so this is very tough for me. This is a tough decision for me to make, so I'll let you know in my predictions video at No Mercy. But right now, <laughs> oh my god, like <laughs> kicking off my night ball with Jordan and Reigns. I already know that Reigns is going to win anyways, because I know that John Cena has beaten Jason Jordan last week, but um, I feel like Roman Reigns is going to beat Jordan again, but um, what if Jordan can beat Reigns? Oh, it goes to upper right, I didn't see that. Woo! Look at Roman Reigns, man. I mean, I love Jason Jordan too, don't get me wrong. And to be honest though, I sometimes do like heel WWE superstars, for example, Natalia, Braun Strowman, you name it. If you like a heel superstar, go for it. Woo! <laughs> there goes that upper red I was looking for. Here we go. Clotheslines in the corner to Jordan, baby. Oh, shoot! Whoa! Whoa! That suplex to Reigns! Wow! It's crazy! Wow! I mean, it's possible. It's taking out Reigns like that. That's the match I'm very excited for. John Cena versus Braun Strowman. First time ever. I am like so excited for this. You have no idea. Oh jeez. The moment of speed. Yes, yeah, clothesline. That clothesline to Jordan. Now you gotta do it again. You gotta do it again with clotheslines, pal. You gotta do it with clotheslines in the corner. I I lost count. Woo! Big boot to Jordan. Oh shoot! Superman punch, baby. Yes. Trying to go over the Superman punch to Jason Jordan and oh wait a minute, wait a minute! Oh the cross face, cross face to Red. 
Oh my gosh. Yo, I think his friend was good. Oh, he, he, got, he got the ropes. He got the ropes. That's good. Jason Jordan is like taking out Roman now. I mean, with this huge suplex and then a clothesline, nailed it. Wow. Wait a minute. Oh, man. There goes Jason Jordan at it. Man. Kick out at two. Yes. Come on, Reigns. You got this. Oh, there is no way that you're going to give Roman Reigns a bit belly to belly. Over the top suplex, whatever that is. Oh, oh, wait a minute, it's a clothesline. Oh, nailed it, nailed it. Setting up, Reigns, the spear right in the corner. Oh, shoot. Oh, yo, he did the same thing as Cena last week. Yes, the second one. Whew. Yes, the kick out. There you go, Reigns. Man, this is nuts. I mean, the match between Jordan and Reigns that, like, kick off Raw. Same thing with Cena and Jordan. Going for the cross face again. You going for the cross face again. Dude, I, no, there's no way you're gonna tap. Thank God he got the ropes. The second time in a row, I saw him with the ropes. I mean, I just... <laughs> wow, I feel like a spear is about to happen out of nowhere. Like, a spear? No. I'm trying to go for that the belly to belly the suplex thing, whatever you called it. Here we go with elbows to Jordan. Yo. <laughs> oh! Ray in a steel post, Jason Jordan's done and out. Oh my gosh, like, literally with a moment of speed, literally got him. But what is Roman Reigns thinking? I know what he's thinking. You're thinking of a Superman punch, Superman punch time. Come on, I want to see it. Oh, you're going for a basement drop, you're going for a drop kick or something? Yeah, I'm, you're going for a drop kick. Yep. Takes out Jordan and now Yes. There you go. There you go. Yes. Here we go. Superman punch. Yes. We all know what's coming, people. We already know what's coming. You're gonna do it. Going for the spear. Here we go. One, two, three. There you go. Shines. There we go, it's Wolverine showing good sportsmanship to Jason Jordan. Man, that is intense. Well, sounds like we got deja vu from last week. So, we're gonna see some more promos. Let's do this. Now, Roman. This is not a nightstick for your tactical pants. This is a microphone. <laughs> and... I'm really excited to hear what you're going to say. I am too. Because when the rookie, Jason Jordan, almost beat the guy. <laughs> it's like, is this stage off from last week? I think you got some explaining to do. And here's a tip. Just, just keep it to like one sentence and maybe say something like, because uh, it's my yard. Believe that. <laughs> you really think you're going to do that for sure? I mean, you gotta say something, dude. I mean, come on. Actually, I was out here, John, having a great match. Something you know nothing about. Yeah. That, too. Actually, now that I think of it, I've had more great matches in two years than you have in your whole career. Of course. Of course. What I read. I, I love it. I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it, dude. You make this easy for me. Usually I gotta come out here and stay sharp. All I gotta do is come out here and let you talk. Oh. <laughs> you guys really? pin this one on me. Roman's burying himself. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? It's not, it's not to say that you're not good. You have skill and ability that any one of us would dream of having. You just got your head so far up your ass, you're like a one-man human centipede. Ah! <laughs> 
<laughs> oh no. You do not be. You actually think that you run this place. You actually think you're responsible for all of this. You think? Because nobody has ever cut you down to size. That's why I'm here, Roman. Of course. Mm -hmm. You see, you said a few weeks ago that, that I can spin anything. John Cena can spin anything. No, no, no. It's not that I can spin anything. It's I challenge myself every day to try everything. And you, you feel as if you've already made it. And in this ring and in anywhere else in life, the second you think you've made it is the beginning of the end. Hmm. So, you are going to learn what real failure is all about, Roman Reigns. Because week after week, after week, I come out here to give you a shot, taking your ass to school, and you fail, <laughs> and fail, and fail, and that is not what the guy does. The guy steps up. The guy stays sharp. The guy does his homework, which is something you should have done before you drug your sorry ass out here. What? Oh, no! Then you will dust yourself off. You will stand up and at no mercy you'll show me something. Looking at you now, you ain't got it in your homes. No mercy's gonna be a cakewalker. Oh! Yo. <laughs> if you're gonna give Roman Reigns time. No, no, no. Bring your, bring your bitch ass back here. <laughs> Yo! Is this the third week that he says that? Here calls John Cena out. That way they can make a name for themselves. But you came here. You came to Monday Night Raw and you called me out. And I wonder why that is. Maybe it's because I'm selling the tickets that you haven't sold in five years. Oh, <laughs> that's very cute. That's very cute. You say I'm not doing my job, but ticket sales are great. Revenue is sky high. WWE can make it without you. That's why you don't like me. WWE don't need you, John. You need WWE. I need both of you. And the fact of it is, you need WWE because, well, hell, he can't break into Hollywood, y'all. What? I'm serious, man. If you need help, I know a guy. In that. Hey, hey, I know. I right, know. So, so please spin it. Do whatever you do. Do your big talk. Say whatever it is you want to say because it's going to mean nothing. Because you can't back it up. <laughs> well then. You know, sometimes when people push you over the line, you got to fight fire with fire. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm going to put it in terms that even you can understand. And no mercy. Consider me like a drug test, Holmes. What? You ain't getting past me. <laughs> That's very awesome. This is why John Cena cuts promos every single time he gets here. Every single time. This is why John Cena is all about gold. What about Roman Reigns? 